Hey, I'm Mikey with D4Guns, and uh, today we have something very special. It is a Browning Superposed Diana Grade. Now, before we get into it, I'm going to show you guys that the shotgun has no cartridges. It is completely safe. What's special about this shotgun is that it was the last shotgun that, uh, well, the last gun, actually, that John Moses Browning designed before he died in 1926. He started in, I believe it was 1922, with the actual design of it. And um, when he died, his son had to take over the reins and finish the project for him. What's really cool about that is, well, it's the last gun that was designed by John Browning. That's why they're so rare and desirable. Um, it's kind of like, I know a lot of you gun guys are car guys. It's like the Ferrari F40 was the last car that Enzo Ferrari designed before he died. So obviously that car is untouchable by most. Some cool features about this shotgun that makes it really desirable is, uh, well, a few things. It's the year, the uh, round knob grip. Um, it's a Diana grade. You've got the 28 inch barrel. It's full over mod. Well, the name superposed is a superposed over under. So these came to the American market where traditionally the American shotguns wouldn't have a vented rib uh, barrel select, um, you know, glorious features such as those. Um, and, and the year, this has a S5, which means 1965. So what's special about that year, that's, that's the salt era. They started soaking and brining their stocks in salt. But if, you know, you guys took a high school chemistry class, you'll know that when the water gets sucked out, the salt gets sucked in. So in areas such as, you know, the forearm that are surrounding the barrel and obviously the main trigger components that salt is going to corrode the barrel so this shotgun was manufactured in 1965 and that was the year that browning actually bought the uh the compound to brine all of the uh stocks so this one was actually put in a kiln it was it was dried it was cured and there's no salt in this shotgun it is not corrosive this is made in Belgium. This was one of the last years that Browning produced these in Belgium. And it is signed by uh, Jose Berton. He is one of the master engravers at Browning during the time. Everything engraved is in excellent condition. You can see the depictions perfectly. It's a super gorgeous shotgun. Not a lot of these are uh, available, especially with the round knob, especially with the 28 inch barrel. Um, you're gonna have a lot of trouble finding another one of these. This is a perfect opportunity for you shotgun collectors. We have more pictures up close on uh, the engravings and everything on our site on d4guns.com.